Hello and welcome to this video, Lavrenti. That's a new opponent, right? Yep. So, playing a little bit more of E4, E5 recently. I want to really, yeah, get a little bit more practice with that. It's my standard reply, of course, to 1E4, but still, Sometimes I feel a bit rusty with some lines. Hmm. I think Jan Gustafsson recently mentioned that d3 would be the best move in this position. Hmm. d3, ef6, takes e2, queen e2. Hmm. Bishop e6. Hmm. Maybe. It looks kind of wild. <laughs> Knight e4 is a standard, standard move, but usually Mr. Gustafsson is very well informed about his openings. So that um, probably is right. Bishop g5 looks a little bit annoying here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can still go queen d6. Yeah, well here I have queen f6, so um, I don't really don't really think that this can be that dangerous. On well, bishop g5, I mean I can take g7. Yeah, I think I just take g7. I was thinking queen f5 might also be an option going for rook g7 next. Ah, so he tries to keep it. He tries to keep the bishop there. Very ambitious move. So castling long is a sacrifice. Hmm. Couple of interesting ideas. And D four looks looks uh, tempting. Yeah, I think I'm going for that. If he castles short, I mean, this is also going into the G file. No. Hmm, that's a surprising move. I mean, doesn't that accelerate my play quite a bit? I'm attacking b2, I have queen e5 as possible moves. Now, maybe rook d8, rook d8, bishop g5, hmm. I've got queen e5 check. Yeah, so I can go, the, go for that. And if he castles short, I take on c3, queen c3, queen h6, so he cannot castle short. Which is annoying. However, he just castles long. Okay. So, hmm, that's not exactly a move I expected. Bishop c3 does not work. Maybe here, I don't know. That's a position where I would love to have more time to really figure it out. Very complicated. Again, I'm threatening bishop c3. Yeah, here I've got the check, but okay then. 
Hmm. I can also check there on B2, I mean. Bishop B2. Well, I probably move with the king simply. And bishop f5, that's a very, very crazy position. Check. Okay. Let's go for that. I don't understand anything. I mean, anything. <laughs> so if he moves the king to b1, there's also the bishop. I can also check on a, a2 here and queen e6 check. It wins the queen, but is it any good? The resulting position is certainly very, very crazy. Bishop f5. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. One check. Uh, it's two pieces and a rook. Knight takes. Bishop eight. Queen e6 takes takes. Mm, I cannot take this at the end, but his king is also exposed. Time ah, check. I cannot figure it out. In that time, I have also rook a6 check. Now that I think of it, rook a6 check, king b1. Rook a1, king c2. <laughs> uh, that's probably check. not going to work. Um, I have rook b6 check here, however. That is interesting. Rook b6 check. King c1, just about holes. So I'm okay, taking this. Now bishop takes, I guess. That, That's what I'm expecting. No, of course not. So let's take this. Check. Yeah, he's got some checks, but I don't see anything brilliant here. I was calculating till the other, till bishop takes, and I couldn't figure that out. That is, was why I was taking so much time. Of course, they play something else, and this is not so critical. Yeah, G seven hangs with check. That's also quite useful. Check. Getting rid of that pawn is really important. Check. So that um, okay. Then rook G one. Better make sure that I'm not back rank and made it. Check. Oh. Check. This is. Check. Certainly useful. Check. So I think I'm going to trade. It's nothing. Check. There's no particular reason not to trade. The pawns here are very quick. Sometimes you want to keep a rook on to to have more firepower, queen and rook, as an attacking force, but it's not relevant here, I think, as the pawns are so dangerous on their own. Check. Unfortunately, it is not exactly difficult to play. <laughs> you just have to push. Check. 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 White resigns. Yeah, very, very complicated stuff here out of this opening. Yeah, well, it's a it's a bit of a shame. I, I took took a long time here for playing d3. Maybe I should have just trusted Mr. Gustafsson here and play it. 
ja, okay. Takes, takes, Check. takes. Uh, the engine just gives King F8. Hm. Tja. It's not an easy move to play if you don't know that it is that it is playable. Something like this looks somewhat tricky. The engine just gives this one. Yeah. Okay, this I, I this I'm not sure about really. It's it's very very complicated. We went there. Yeah, I was thinking Bishop G five is more critical really. But okay. This this and now yeah now I went D four. Hmm. I still like the move, but it's tough to say. This is also making quite some sense. There are some ideas here also. Ah, knight g4 is also an interesting idea that I didn't really recognize. I didn't really um, see when um, when I was in the game. Check. Mm, yeah, this is a, a version of the game, let's say. Yeah, it's good for black. Something like this is just good for black. I'm far far more active and have the bishop pair. Okay, d4, and now he took it. Yeah, and this is losing actually. Engine gives queen g5, not the most natural move ever. So this is losing. Long castles. Yeah, you know, I'm stupid. I didn't see queen, I only saw queen e5. After I was thinking rook d8, and I saw okay, bishop g5. I've got the check, and this is, of course, a much stronger version with the king secure and the rook protected by the rook on g8. Here, he has no, he has no moves actually. This is the problem. This is a, a deadly threat. If now castles long, I just take and he resigns this game. Yeah. It's pretty simple, yeah. Okay. And this is now not clear at all, I guess. Well, the engine will certainly give some good evaluation if you give it some time to calculate. Rook d6 is also given by the engine, so that was a good move. Knight e4. Now Check. I took. And the computer gives queen takes b2, not this one, because of bishop f5. Yes. Or queen g6. Yeah, I saw those moves, but <coughs> I couldn't really figure it out. And then Check. decided to do this, which wasn't clear to me Check. at all. But the critical Check. line is quite obviously bishop d2 and not knight d2. Knight d2 is just yeah blundering a piece, essentially. Um, and this position was the one that yeah wasn't clear to me, because here, I mean, material is about equal but it's a complete mess and if i take here he probably has rook e1 or bishop c3 yeah that wins in fact for white so engine gives Check. something like this and um yeah currently shows 0 0.5 for white hmm. yeah it's, it's just a complete mess yeah. in a blitz game i think i'd also rather be white your king is open, but uh, White's play is simply is pretty simple. Rook h e one and yeah, hmm. but um, yeah, it was was difficult um, difficult to um, to figure out during the game. Yeah, and after this, he's just Check. losing. Check. There's nothing much happening here. Check. It's just a material loss. So it's quite mysterious why he took with the knight and uh, did so. Okay, it took 10 seconds. Hmm. Hard to explain, yeah? What was he saying here? Of course, I cannot take, yeah? This is losing the queen. But that's a very simple tactic. I don't know what he, what he missed there. Okay, thanks for watching.